Welcome to another enlightening episode of the NABH Quality Indicator Series. Today, we are delving into a crucial aspect of healthcare, infection control. We focus on a critical aspect of healthcare quality. So, let's jump right in. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our informative content. Let's get started. In this video, we will learn about the infection control related quality indicator. Quality indicator number 9, Central Line Associated Bloodstream Infection Rate, PLABZ. Indicator type, outcome related. Definition, a central line associated bloodstream infection, PLABZ, is a laboratory confirmed bloodstream infection not related to an infection at another site that develops within 48 hours of central line placement. Source of the data, patient medical record and CLABZ incidence report. Indicator monitored by or responsible person, infection control nurse. The formula is, numerator, number of central line associated bloodstream infections in a month. Denominator, total number of central line days in that month. In 200, sample size, not applicable. Explanation, CLABZ and transfusion reactions are to be monitored differently. CLABSIs are serious infections that can occur when bacteria enter the bloodstream through a central line. Central lines are large tubes that are inserted into a vein in the neck, chest, or groin. They are used to deliver fluids, medications, and nutrients to patients who cannot take these things by mouth. There are a number of things that hospitals can do to reduce their CLABZ rates, including educating staff about CLABZ prevention practices. Using strict hand hygiene protocols, using sterile insertion and dressing techniques, monitoring central lines regularly. Thanks for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay committed to providing the best care possible. See you in the next video.